the alternative is to convert that into a template. And that is something that Kotlin prefers and is a very magical feature. What's up YouTube? This is Dennis Panyuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, you are going to learn about string manipulation and string templates in Kotlin. And if you think that's a cool video, definitely hit that like button, the subscribe button, and also check out the playlist where you learn a lot more about Kotlin. So let's get started. So when you hover on the values inside our print statement here, you can see that there is a suggestion. So it says, I should convert the concatenation to a template. Because what we're doing here is we're concatenating, right? We're adding strings together. But the alternative is to convert that into a template. And that is something that Kotlin prefers and is a very magical feature because it just adds this with a button click. So it's pretty cool. So here, instead of adding two strings together, it's one string. So it's just this one statement, but then it uses this dollar sign and then the variable name. So it just says, okay, at this position, please replace the entry in the string with whatever is inside of first char in string at that point. So in this case, we will receive the same result. We will still get the character H, but we don't have to add this plus and the empty space and so forth, which can be very tedious when you have a very long statement where you use multiple different variables. So this dollar sign here, it starts a string template expression. So let's look at it with a little more depth. So here we can actually make a whole sentence and at the same time get values that we need from any variable. So we have this first character is and then first char in string and the length of my, or my str, my string is, and then let's use the length of my str. So how do I get the length of my str? Well, we saw that with this here. Okay, so my str.length gives me the length of the entire string in this case it's five plus another five and another empty space, so it should be 11, right? So how do I get the length? Now, of course, I could go ahead and create an extra variable that stores the length. So let's call this my length. And this would be my str.length. That could be a way, but there is another way. How about we just copy this here and put it in there with the dollar sign? And you see that this doesn't seem to work properly because there's this dot. So let's just run this real quick. And it says the first character H and the length of my str is hello world dot length. So that's not exactly what I wanted to achieve. So how can I make this work properly? Well, the thing is you can just surround it with curly brackets here. So let's surround my str dot length with curly brackets. And then it will treat it as an entire statement. So now we're using dollar and then the curly brackets with the statement inside that we want to be used. So let's run it again and we will see first character H and the length of my str is 11. Oh. 